Let's go ahead and solve one of the homework 04-06 ice table problems. And we can see that this is an ice table problem because it gives us our Kc value, it gives us a balanced reaction, and it gives us some initial concentrations. Let me set up my ice table. It's going to be nitrogen plus oxygen. Double equilibrium arrows there it goes to two moles of NO. I have an initial concentration for each of my reactants. So let's fill that in. And my table's a little small, I guess, for these big concentrations. The reaction has to go towards products because there are no products. And it's plus 2x, since there's a 2 there. What we can then do is write out our equilibrium constant expression, which I'll do up here. Whenever I don't do this step, I invariably miss a squared or something like that. So there's our equilibrium constant expression. And um, now I'm going to plug in all the values I have for this expression. I've got 9.742 times 10 to the minus 11. That's going to be my Kc is equal to NO, which is 2x, that's going to be squared. And I've got N2 is going to be 0 0.0304 minus 2x. Oh, minus 2x, where'd that come from? Minus x. And 0 0.0208 minus x. That is my full expression there. And now um, Kc is very small. That means we can go ahead and ignore these x's here, treat them as zeros because they're going to be so much smaller than the numbers that they are subtracted off of. And we will check that. Um, but now when we cross multiply, we're going to have uh, 4x squared. That's what I get from the top of the two of the 2x quantity squared. And that's going to be equal to the 9.742 exponent 11 minus. It's going to be times the 0 0.0304 times the 0 0.0208. And I get 6.16 times 10 to the minus 14. Divide both sides by 4 square root both sides. Let's do that. So divide by four and square root. And I get that x equals 1.24 times 10 to the minus seven. Does that look right? Let me do my math again. So 9.742 exponent 11 minus times 0 0.0304 times 0 0.0208. So far, so good. Divide by four. Yep, square root. We get 1.4 times 10 to the minus seven. That's X, but our two X, so is going to be our concentration of NO. So multiply that times two, and I get 2.48 times 10 to the minus seven. Does everything look right in this problem statement? Yep. And that will be the answer.